wicked are like the troubled sea, cannot be at rest, casting up mire and dirt. The world is always in a state of flux. There's no peace, says my God to the wicked. And the world is constantly in turmoil. Now here's a man by the name of Lot. And he goes into Sodom. I don't know what he thought he was going to do in Sodom. Whether he was going to be an influence over these people there. He wasn't much of an influence, was he? After living his life there, when God came looking for a handful of righteous men, he couldn't find ten. Some influence. And what did he pay for it? Daily vex with the ungodly conversation, lifestyle of the wicked. That's the price. You try to fit in with the world system, and you will discover its disturbance in your life. He says, that's not your territory. It's from those places. That's what it says, isn't it? From there. And that's where we are today. Separated away from this. Out of the land of no pasture. We've been brought into the presence of the King. We have been provided with everything that God has for us. Why is it that we look over the fence at that grass we think is greener? And say, well, the world... I, I know, I'm suffering for the Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm doing without this, and someday there's going to be pie in the sky by and by. But right now I just have to close my eyes to it all. I guess I just can't have it. Too bad. What a sham the world is. When you take a look at it, you discover that the world is in bondage even to their pleasures. They're in bondage to them. They're never at rest constantly looking for something else. There was an excellent little letter uh, written by the editor of Decision Magazine, Roger Palm. And in there, the essence of the article was this. What do we do in the church? When people come in from the world, they're hungry, they're dissatisfied. And what do we do? We try to imitate the world. And they say, hey, we tried that. And it disappointed us. That's why we've come here, to find out if you have something different. Listen, we have something that the world will never have. To have peace with God. And do you know what that's like? To be able to go to bed at night, put your head on your pillow, and not be afraid that if death should come, or if the universe should collapse, it doesn't mean a whit of difference to you. You have peace with God. Thank you.